Okay guys, welcome back. In this video, we're gonna discuss proxies and why sometimes we need to use them with our bots and software. Okay guys, as you probably know, when you connect to the internet, your computer is assigned an IP address. My, my computer has one, your one has a different IP address. Okay, and your IP address is one of the main ways that a website detects your identity. Okay, so um, to give you an example, um, when we're making our web 2.0 um, account maker, as we've been doing it in previous videos, and um, when we connect to the website, it logs our IP address. Now, if we're making two or three accounts with the same IP address, that's fine, okay? But after a certain time, maybe after two, three, or five accounts, the website's gonna say to us, hey, you know, you've made too many accounts with this IP address, please try again tomorrow, whatever the case may be. Now this is okay if we just need to make a couple of accounts. However, in lots of instances, we wanna make 50, 100, 1,000 accounts, whatever the ca case may be. Um, this is the same with scrapers. Um, one IP address normally is blocked if you try and pull too many pages or view too many pages with the same IP address in a short amount of time. Now, how we get around this is we use proxies. Now, what that means is um, every time that we open a browser instance or we get a page, a, um, a website page, we change our IP address. So um, the website, to the website, we appear to be a different machine, okay? So I'm gonna demonstrate that now, um, going back to the web 2.0 account maker that we were making and show you how easy it is to use proxies. Now I'm gonna presume that you um, have some proxies, okay? If you need help with um, a supplier, just leave a comment or um, email, email us and I will get that to you. There's quite a few good suppliers out there so I'm going to presume that you have some proxies um, for this um, demonstration. Now, all we need to do, guys, is we make a new resource, as we have done previously. I'm going to call it proxy. Press next. Now, for this, I'm going to read lines from, from a file, because I have a, a file, um, and it has a list of uh, my proxies. So that's all I need to do there. Okay, I'm going to only read. I'm going to mix the lines up before it takes one. Just for just because I can. Um, this option we've been um, using that option. Use each line one time. However, for this we're going to use the next option, which is use line several times. And it even says underneath "good for proxies." So good enough for us. Then we press next, and we're done. That is it. Okay. So now we can hit record. We have our proxy resource. Now the other, all the other options are filled out as they were from the previous video, but for proxies we need to show Bass where our proxy list is, which is here. I have, have it in the same folder, 100 proxies. Let me just actually open that up for you so you can see it's just a list of my proxies. So what will happen when um, we tell Bass to use this resource, it's going to find this list and it's going to pick one of these proxies um, and then when we connect to the, um, <clears throat> the website with the browser, it will use that pro proxy, which I'm going to demonstrate now. So there we go, press OK. OK, back to our bot we were making before for page4.com. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the bar just after initialize. So what that means is the next item that I, I make, um, it's going to drop it in here. So we go to browser, as we have done before, but this time we pick the option proxy. So we click that, and the very top where it says proxy string, we want to use our resource. So as before, guys, load from file, user input or database, and we pick our, result, um, our resource proxy. So every time that bass comes to this, <clears throat> item is going to find our list, find the resource, and it's going to pick one of the proxies from the list. Now, some proxies have a username and password, okay? We're going to go over that in a different video. Um, most proxies, you just have to authorize your IP address. Um, but for now, um, proxies on the top um, bar, sorry, 
change the re um, top bar to the resource proxies I should say press OK and you're done now what happens now the bot will initialize it'll pick one of the proxies and then it'll go to the website so every time that the bot runs or we start a new browser instance okay it will be a different proxy and to the website it will seem like we're a different machine so we're able to make lots of accounts and that is it guys if we just do it step by step so let's pick the proxy it's going to load the page and there you go we we have an ip a different ip address to our own and we've come to the website we can make an account as we've done before and then the next time that we initialize the bot it'll run again and create a an account but with a different IP address and so on and so forth guys now with the proxy list we can do a few things to make sure we don't use the proxy again um, so this is a very basic example we're obviously going to get more in depth we're going to be using proxies for scrapers and all sorts of stuff guys so um, don't worry if you don't totally understand in this video I just wanted to give you an overview and give you an example of a proxy in use Okay guys, so I hope that makes sense. Leave your comments and I will see you in the next video.